Hello and welcome to Dear Doctor, the channel where I discuss the latest and trending medical topics. Today I'm going to talk about the mechanism of vaccine-induced clotting. This is a rare but serious adverse reaction to some COVID-19 vaccines that can cause blood clots and low platelet counts. Some COVID-19 vaccines, such as the AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson vaccines, use a modified adenovirus as a vector to deliver the genetic material of the coronavirus spike protein into your cells. The spike protein is what the coronavirus uses to attach to and enter your cells. By exposing your immune system to the spike protein, the vaccine helps you develop antibodies and memory cells that can protect you from the actual virus. However, in some people, the vaccine can trigger an abnormal immune reaction that causes your body to produce antibodies against your own platelets. Platelets are small cell fragments that circulate in your blood and stick together to form clots. These antibodies bind to the platelets and activate them, causing them to clump together and form clots. At the same time, these antibodies also destroy the platelets, leading to a low platelet count. This condition is called vaccine-induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia, or VITT for short. VITT is very rare, occurring in about 1 in 100,000 to 1 in 1 million people who receive the adenovirus vector vaccines. It usually happens within 4 to 28 days after vaccination, and it mainly affects the veins in the brain and the abdomen. The symptoms of VITT include severe headache, blurred vision, seizures, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and bleeding. If you experience any of these symptoms after getting the vaccine, you should seek medical attention immediately. The exact mechanism of how the vaccine causes VITT is still unclear, but researchers have some clues. One possibility is that the spike protein may mimic a protein called platelet factor 4, or PF4, which is involved in clotting and inflammation. The immune system may mistake the spike protein for PF4 and produce antibodies against it. These antibodies may then cross-react with the real PF4 on the platelets and cause VITT. The risk factors for developing VITT are not well understood, but some studies have suggested that age, sex, and prior exposure to heparin may play a role. Heparin is a blood thinner that is commonly used to treat or prevent blood clots. However, heparin can also cause a similar condition to VITT, called heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, or HIT. HIT occurs when heparin binds to PF4 and forms complexes that trigger an immune response. People who have had HIT may have a higher risk of developing VITT, because they may already have antibodies against PF4. The prevention and treatment of VITT are challenging, because the usual methods of managing blood clots may not work or may even worsen the condition. For example, heparin, which is the standard treatment for blood clots, may increase the risk of bleeding and clotting in VITT, because it can enhance the antibody-PF4 interaction. Therefore, heparin should be avoided in VITT and alternative blood thinners, such as Arcotrobin or Fondaparinex, should be used instead. Another treatment option for VITT is intravenous immunoglobulin, or IVIG. IVIG is a solution of antibodies derived from donated blood that can help modulate the immune system. IVIG may work by blocking the binding of the antibodies to the platelets, or by suppressing the production of the antibodies. IVIG may also be combined with steroids, which are anti-inflammatory drugs that can reduce the immune response. The best way to prevent VITT is to avoid getting the adenovirus vector vaccines if you have a history of HIT, or if you have a known allergy to any of the vaccine components. You should also inform your doctor if you have any risk factors for VITT, such as age, sex, or prior exposure to heparin. Your doctor may advise you to get a different type of COVID-19 vaccine, such as the mRNA vaccines or the protein subunit vaccines, which have not been associated with VITT. However, if you have already received the adenovirus vector vaccine, 
you should not panic. Remember, VITT is very rare, and the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks. The vaccine can protect you from getting COVID-19, which can also cause blood clots and other serious complications. The vaccine can also reduce the transmission of the virus and help end the pandemic. Therefore, you should not hesitate to get vaccinated, unless you have a medical reason not to. I hope this video has helped you understand the mechanism of vaccine-induced clotting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to Dear Doctor for more medical topics. Thank you for watching, and stay safe and healthy.